everybody welcome back to my channel i feel like i've not filmed like this for ages i don't know why because i would have done this last week but yeah it just feels like something i've not done in a while um i've not been having the best week to be honest um Ray's crying now because i gave him water instead of coke and i feel like after the half time we're getting back into school routine it's just really not gone well for us and the children have been a lot more um I wouldn't say naughty, but it's been a stressful start to the week. So I've occurred to the food shop and we have done a lot of looking into the sort of different um, meats you can buy and like organic and free range and a difference and not for ourselves, but we're concerned for ourselves partly, but quite massively for animals. So we wanna i'm really sorry about roe but he's tired and we feel like we want the animals to be treated nicely so like cows we don't want them all cooped up and just used and milked all day and not given nice grass to graze on and lots of space and chickens too like we just think how can it be possible you can buy a chicken for two pounds sixty in tesco it just shows how mass produced they are and we were reading about it and actually free range is not really good necessarily. Organic is a lot better, but we went to a farm shop this morning and we felt really disappointed because we thought we were gonna go in there and get lots of fruit and vegetables which were um, grown locally, um, had any additives, but it turns out that the man gets them from London. It's like bulk buy and they're not actually any better and their meats aren't any better. and some will be but lots aren't and it's really misleading so free range is not the same and if it says like corn fed it's not necessarily good we feel like a bit frazzled from it and just our brains are a bit like we were stressed out going around tesco we got a few meats because we felt stuck because there's nothing actually really decent there and if there is it's not right so I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a better look into it tonight and find somewhere online that is just like a proper place. There's a couple more places to look at around us, but they're not open till Saturday. Right. So also, we're not rich, but we think that everybody can make better choices with their food. And I said to Curtis, I don't think it's something that everyone can afford because I really don't. And he said, but he sort of thinks it's the choices we make so like we wouldn't buy a chicken for 12 pounds we'd go and buy one for three pounds but then we're going to get mcdonald's for tennis so you could have just bought the decent chicken i don't necessarily agree with that i think that richer people can eat better than us but yeah what we've done is we've bought what we could afford to get that's organic and we're going to sort of see how we go see how we get on and find somewhere online to buy meat in future, I think. Right, I've probably just blabbed on for ages. I'm sorry if that was so boring. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think, because I'm really interested to know what people think. And if you do eat better, I'm interested to know, like, if you have any information on it, because we don't know anything about it. But I'm going to show you everything we got. I spent £100, and we got... Um, nine pounds something off it because i got 10 percent because i do the club club plus i think it's called where you pay 7.99 a month and you get 10 percent off two big shops so it saves me money in the long run we've already got a few dinners in the freezer we've got some chicken in the freezer we've got some chicken drumsticks in the fridge and we've got three lots of dinners here i don't want to take it too far and like i said to kurt i don't want to just not be able to go into the shop and pick up a packet of chicken or like fruit and vegetables without buying organic I don't want to be like that, I don't know the right steps and we're learning. So this is sort of our beginning to learning to be better people, I think. So I'll show you everything we've got. I'm sorry for going on for so long and hopefully you still find it interesting. And thank you for watching. Oh, sorry I was drinking this, that's not very good for me is it after saying all of this. These for Flossie, she loved brioche and the boys. Got a chocolate chip one. You get six in the packet. They were a pound on offer and I got the ones that's filled with um, chocolate. Um, so the boys will like those two after dinner or lunch. Um, I got a packet of cream eggs, which is a five pack. They were £1.25 on offer. 
I've got some bunny bites which were 85p and these were about 80 85p too like the knockoff McCoys multi seed bread was a pound and these wipes I did get dove last week but I don't prefer them I don't prefer the dove I do prefer my huggies and that was four pounds got some organic eggs so the Tesco ones weren't there but these are actually cheaper these are three pound ten um and yeah they're not huge sizes i mean they're all varied but um i think chickens are probably a big problem at the moment with like how they're treated and like i think they're massively mass produced um and then we got some potatoes and we got the organic ones which were one pound fifty for the packet you definitely get less in the packet than the other ones but i don't think it's gonna make a huge difference because actually i think a part of this is that we waste a lot of food i'll buy like a couple of big packets of cheaper ones and I won't use them all so this will actually help me to um not waste food i thought this juice sounded really nice i think it was a pound if it wasn't it wasn't a lot more but it's apple lemon and ginger 100 percent juice and i just i love ginger so yeah that sounds nice and then i got um, an apple juice because the children absolutely love this and that was two pounds they love any not just necessarily the brand but they just love any apple juice so meat wise at the moment we got a steak mince which is five percent fat and that is 3.99 we got some free range chicken thighs and drumsticks which was four pound thirty um i don't necessarily think that they are treated better but i don't know as i've said it's a really great area for us at the moment and then we got three of these which is salmon spinach and lemon fish cakes and that was two pounds for a packet so fruit and vegetables, we got some sweet peppers, which were £1.35. Um, we got cucumber, which was a pound. Um, these onions, so they're tiny, but that's all they had. So I'm thinking maybe onions should be that size, and because of stuff we put in them, they're not. I don't know if I sound absolutely crazy. They were they were one pound twenty-five. Some courgettes, which were two pounds. Lettuce was on offer for 90p. Broccoli was a pound. These mushrooms were reduced to 81p, but they're usually a pound, so that's not a bad price. Um, bananas were £1.35. Easy peelers were 89p. And apples, I think they were about £2. This cheese was £3.40, I think. Um, and cheese bothers me because it's the cows, isn't it? And I am actually, I'm really, really bothered about all of things like that. Um, the grapes were £3. Flossie is blueberry obsessed. They were £2.50. Um, some unsalted butter was £1.85. This I got last week. It's really nice. It was um, £3.25. And then some yogurts for the boys. So these were a pound. Um, and they are peach, strawberry, raspberry and apricot. I got two packets of those. And then I got a packet of smaller ones for Flossie and they were a pound too. And they are just strawberry and raspberry. Um, and then me and Curtis like to have yogurt at the moment with honey, chai seeds um, and fruit. And they were pound fifty each on offer. Sorry, this is all from the onions. Um, I got some Derrida Dunkers, which were £2. The boys love those. And so does Flossie, actually, which I think is really... Um, she seems a bit young for them. Um, she eats them really well, though. These for like an after dinner treat, which were a pound. They were one pound seventy, so I think they use about one pound ten. So it's about sixty p more than normal. And we're using way less milk in this house than we used to. We got a couple of wrap kits because they were reduced to one pound five. And spicy jerk is our sort of thing. I'll have to make sure for the children that I make sure they're not spicy. We got a salad cream which was on offer for two pound fifty, but that is still really expensive, isn't it? But we've not had like normal like the branded salad cream for a long time. Um, Curtis wanted to make rolls because he wants burgers so he's going to use the mints to make burgers and he reckons he's going to make his own rolls <laughs> so um, that was £1.40 and then some caster sugar for £1.60 it's just strong bin bags which were so they were £3.50 and then I got prune pouches for the children as I get every week these are 45p I got 10 of them some sesame seeds Curtis wants for his burgers this was on offer again for 99p I think it's like a reduced to clear thing and um, some fruit winders for the children which were a pound I got some kitchen foil usually I'll get 30 meters but they didn't have any so I had to get 10 meters and it was £1.25 
some paracetamol and ibuprofen, which is about 29p um, each. Some anti-dandruff shampoo for Curtis. He just likes this one. He's just got a thing about um, not actually paying for head and shoulders, which I think is probably worth the extra. But um, he likes it. I don't know why he doesn't even have dandruff, but that was a pound. And then um, this, I've not used this brand before, but it was £2.50 and it's a massive bottle. So I thought I would try that. Some Method Antibacterial was on offer for £2.50 and I love this one. Um, I think that the um, other ones I've tried before, they really get in my lungs and like my throat and these don't. And then some baked beans, which we did get organic. Um, I think usually of baked beans, we get the four for a pound Tesco ones, but we use more tins than we need to. So I think it is actually going to cut us back on wasting food. So we'll spend the same amount of money for less, but we use more and we waste more. I do personally think. So that is everything we got. Our meals for the week are going to be, um, we're going to have chicken drumsticks and rice with vegetables. I might do that with some um, roasted courgettes. Curtis likes them like roasted within butter. We're going to have enchiladas and I'll probably make some chips to go with them. And then we're going to have the wrap kit that I've got. And I think I'll make a salad to go with that. We're going to have fish cakes, which we'll also have with rice. And um, maybe some broccoli with that. And then we've got more chicken drumsticks and more chicken thighs. And I will probably do that with mash this time, just to be a little bit different. And then Curtis is going to make his own burgers. So he's going to make his own buns and he's going to make his own rolls. I sort of feel like I've let people down with this video because I feel like um, it's not what my food hauls usually are and um, I don't want to like completely change what I do but then I guess like if we are sort of trying to change our lifestyle a little bit then that is what we're trying to do and I hope you still find it interesting. If you do have any questions or you have anything to say then please leave me messages and comments below. Um, I love speaking to you all. And I would just love to hear your opinions on everything, really. Sort of like what you think of it all, even if it's not agreeing with me, that's fine. I still um, would like to hear it. It's still your opinion and it still matters to me. So I still find it really interesting. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you did still find it interesting. And if you do like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel and stick around for more videos. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye.